I'm Forrest Watson, Mulligan Farm. Uh, we have been farming for 100 years now, milking 1,320 cows right now, and operating about 2,800 acres. We started soil health practices almost 20 years ago now when we started with minimum tillage, zone building, and reduced tillage. I'm a John McCauley. I farm with my dad, my brother, at Macaulay Farms LLC in Groveland, New York. We have about a thousand tillable acres. We started getting into no-till in the late 2000s. Some of the reasons we started with soil health and no-till on a bigger scale was one, attending the no-till conference and seeing some erosion issues that weren't being solved with zone tillage, specifically some erosion on different grades that would erode right down the zone on certain areas that that type of management style was just not working and we knew more tillage wasn't the answer so we had to cut back on that somehow and and get the soil to be more stable when we first started off uh, no tilling it always felt like we were missing a part of the puzzle we go out there and you start planting and and sometimes it just the conditions weren't just right so we kept on experimenting, trying to figure out what, you know, what's the next planter attachment to add on there. We started experimenting with cover crops, and boy, that, that was the piece of the puzzle we were missing. Some of the great benefits we've seen from reducing tillage and cover crops is soil structure is one of the huge ones. Um, we're able to harvest and plant and spread manure with very, very little impact um, in a wider range of soil conditions. If it's, if it's a wet year, we've got some, you know, if we have a heavy cover crop somewhere, we know we can go and spread manure there without leaving ruts and getting runoff and anything that we are trying not to do. Some of the other benefits we've seen is uh, reduced cost in tillage equipment, man uh, labor, fuel. So with our cover crops, all the carbon there, it's always released every time you go out there and you do a little bit of tillage. Even if you're just going out there and you know, taking a turbo till or disc, you know, and just lightly hitting it. Well, you're breaking up all those pores and everything, and all your carbon is getting released out in the atmosphere. The way we figure it is, if we're going in there, and all the only thing we're disturbing is just that little spot where we're placing the seed, then we're cutting back on that carbon's emissions and keeping everything um, right down in the soil where it should be, instead of releasing it out in the atmosphere. So the, the less tillage, the, the quicker you can build that organic matter level up in your soil. So now we're getting into cover crop rolling. We've been doing that for two years now, and that's really helped with getting the corn established so the corn is not competing for sunlight. So we're growing really tall cover crops. The nice part about planting an 11-way mix is you got so many different varieties there. So even if your cereal rye is not at uh, flowering stage, the hairy vetch is already at your flowering stage. So when you go to roll that down, the hairy vetch is going to hold that cereal rye down for the most part. We're applying a lot less fertilizer up front at planting time. We rely on our on the manure more and the certain cover crop varieties have a, a big impact. If you can grow legumes and rotate, have a crop rotation that uh, provides nutrients for the next crop that has really, really cut down on inputs for us. A couple of years ago there, we got a four inch rainstorm. My neighbor, he used all conventional till. At the end of this rainstorm that we got, there's four inches of water, and his conventionally tilled fields had rips all in them from the water just washing away his soil. Right on the other side of the road, he had a cover crop that we just planted into, and nothing had moved. I went over to the ditch and held my hand there, and it was just clean water, if any, coming off there. It was just as clean, you could drink right out of it if you wanted to. The one line I like is, do your homework before your field work. Overall for us, no-till and cover crops has eased our planting seasons and um, harvest seasons. We, we have kind of a plan down now that at this time we, we try and be seeding all our cover crops right out as soon after we harvest as possible. And in the spring, it seems a little bit more relaxed than running around with tillage equipment to every field. Overall, it's made it easier on us and um, definitely easier on the ground. Yeah, it's really, it's been very beneficial for our operation.